Good evening and welcome to my laboratory. Uh, what you're looking at there is uh, the basic Jewel Thief test bed. Um, and uh, it has the 2N2222A transistor in there. The only and a, a, a uh, 1K uh, base resistor in there. And I've added a 70 nanofarad capacitor that I cross the base resistor and I can switch that capacitor in and out so that it's e either just the base resistor or the capacitor and base resistor in parallel uh, to the 2N2222. And the load, I have my uh, bank of 24 white LEDs. These are uh, 12 in parallel and 12 in parallel and then those two parallel groups are hooked in series. So it's a series parallel 24 LED stack. And over here I have a 1 ohm current viewing resistor uh, on the negative rail. So the current goes out of the battery through that resistor and then into the circuit. And then I'm looking at the voltage drop across that resistor with uh, uh, 200 millivolt scale of the multimeter there. So uh, this will translate into milliamps directly uh, by Ohm's law of current. That's the um, input current to the system. Okay, uh, and for the coil, I have this this loop stick variable inductor that I've modified by putting uh, a layer of cloth tape over the standard loop stick windings, uh, which terminate here and here and uh, wrapping uh, some number 22 magnet wire. I think there's about 20 turns there uh, around the outside and then uh, sealing that with epoxy. And then that, so that becomes the primary coil uh, and the loop sticks or regular uh, coils terminating here and here are the secondary coil. And then this is the ferrite core of the loop stick that I can slide in and out. Okay. So uh, so I can either select the completely standard mode, which it's in now, or I can select the uh, capacitor across the resistor mode like that. So we'll start in the regular mode. And uh, let me just go ahead and turn it on. OK. So this is the normal, ordinary Jewel Thief mode uh, with the variable inductor set and you can see the LEDs are glowing quite brightly and we have an input current to the system of about 14, 13 or 14 milliamps. Okay. Now when I switch the, uh, here's the interesting thing, I'm going to switch to the capacitor across the circuit watch what happens. The current drops initially to half a milliamp, but the lights start getting brighter and brighter, and then, and then, boom, there you go. Boom, suddenly the system shifts into a brilliant oscillation mode, and but the current is less. The current is only about 9 milliamps, 8.9 milliamps. Okay, now when it's in this mode, I'm going to go ahead and shift back to the uh, standard Joule Thief mode, taking the capacitor out of the circuit. Boom, and you see the current go up. I don't know if you can detect it or not, but the brightness of the light actually went down when I did that. So it's less bright but more current. Now when I switch back to the capacitor those LEDs are glowing dimly at half a milliamp but they're getting brighter and brighter And brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. And 
and brighter and brighter. brighter and boom until boom there you go and now we're back to the 10 milliamps or 9.5 milliamps or so nice brilliant bank of LEDs and uh, and then when I switch back to the normal mode it actually gets a little bit dimmer and the current goes up I don't know if you can see the slight dimming when I do that on the camera but it's it's obvious to the eye okay now uh, uh, current and normal jewel thief mode here, right? So the capacitor is not in the circuit. And now I'm going to vary the inductance of the coil by moving the loop sticks core in and out. I think you can see that the current goes up a little bit. 13 was the peak and now I'm pushing the core through the coil so the current goes down. But there's not very much change, hardly any change. In fact, I can't even tell with my eye the change in the brightness of the lights. Uh, most of the change that you're seeing on the camera is caused by me moving around rather than the brightness of the lights actually changing with this inductance. Okay. Now when I put the capacitor back in the circuit, by switching to there, now the current and the behavior of the light is very dependent on where you have the inductor placed. So to get that that effect that I showed earlier, you got to have the inductor at just the right spot. Like that. And also this effect is very dependent on the, the voltage of the battery too. Uh, I've found that if the battery voltage is too high the system actually won't run in the normal Joule Thief mode I think because the transistor saturates and the current drain goes up to about 50 milliamps when that happens but the lights don't come on. Uh, let's see if I can demonstrate that. I'll take this battery out and uh, let's see, I've got a, one of these batteries over here. This is a freshly charged nickel metal hydride, and it has a voltage on it of about 1.2 volts, 1.3 volts almost. So if I put that in there, see those lights flash? That was just because there was a momentary contact. All right, there. Nice bright lights with the capacitor in the circuit and a current drain of about 28 milliamps. Now if I take the capacitor out of the circuit the thing just dies and the current goes up. That's because there's too much voltage on that battery and uh, it's not affected by the positioning of the inductor because the system is not really oscillating. The transistor is actually just saturated. Okay, And so let's see what that Let's see what the voltages are on those two batteries. Uh, so if I switch to the higher voltage range there, and uh, uh oh, how am I going to do this? How am I going to make the connection with those batteries with just one hand? Okay, so the freshly charged nickel metal hydride battery. Has a voltage of almost 1.3 volts. Okay, which is too much, I guess. So the battery that I used at first is a depleted battery. and its voltage is just slightly over one volt. Okay. Let's put that one 
back in there. Sorry about the clumsiness. I thought I was getting pretty good at operating this new battery holder with one hand, but okay. So there we go. Uh, capacitor out of the circuit. Capacitor in the circuit. And a coil tuned to the right spot. that sudden brightening. Alright, thank you for watching.